Hi, I'm Mike Turner. I've developed a set of rules that I call my 10 essential rules for beating the market. Rule number six is the insider trading rule. Now, I know you think that uh, insider trading is, is maybe illegal. It is not. Now, there, there's some insider trading that is illegal, but insiders buy and sell stocks all the time. The key element here is this. What insider trading should you care about? Now, a lot of people like to, to watch the insider selling. They think, well, if insiders are selling stock, that means that they believe that something bad's going to happen in the company <clears throat> and that they are going to, they see that the shares of stock are going down and so they want to get out. In fact, there are, there are companies who make a living watching the insider selling. Here's the problem with that. There are millions of reasons why the insider selling could be very legitimate. Insider selling could be because good news is coming out on the company. You don't hear that very often talked about. What that means is, is, that, is that an insider might be required to divest some of the shares they've got because of some merger or some event that's going to happen that requires that, that uh, action to be taken that's good for the company. Insiders like to sell when the company is doing well because, uh, think about it this way, they're, insiders are scared to death about being accused of illegal insider selling, but and, and they want to avoid a possible lawsuit. And so what they will do is when they feel like the company is really doing well, it's safe to sell. And so it's a strong indication many times when there's insider selling. And yes, there are those times when there's insider selling because they know that there's something, some bad news coming out. And when they do that, that's illegal. Those people go to jail. Because there are so many reasons why there could be a legitimate reason for insider selling, I ignore it. But I do like to look for insider buying. I particularly like to look at insider buying at a recent low. When I get ready to buy a stock and I'm going through all of my decisions, here's a chart that I'm talking about that, that will give you an example of what I'm talking about. Here's a stock that has begun moving up and I'm considering whether or not I should buy it or not. But you'll notice right here that, that, that there is a, I've got a circle drawn around the insider buying at a, at a recent low. And I find that if insiders are buying at a stock's low point and then the stock begins to move up subsequent to that date, that certainly that's not the only reason to buy, but if you take all the rest of these rules and pull them together, that is an ex a, a tremendous confirmation that it's probably a good idea that adds to your decision-making process that this stock might be a very good stock to own. If the insiders like it, the stock is moving up, they bought it at a low, those, those are very good times to be considering buying a stock.